So we have studied what is velocity potential function and streamline function. Now we are going to study the same thing in cylindrical coordinate system. So let us study velocity potential function in cylindrical coordinate. Velocity potential function is given as phi. Now, in cylindrical coordinate, okay, that is r comma theta comma z, we have to calculate the velocity potential function. But in our fluid mechanics, we are going to study only velocity potential function for r as well as theta. So, if you differentiate dou phi by dou r, then it will give you the value that is ur. Similarly, if you differentiate dou phi by dou theta, it will give a value of r into u theta. So now, this can be also written as u theta is equals to 1 upon r dou phi by dou theta. Now, we have already studied what is rotational flow and irrotational flow. For that, we have seen that is omega is equals to omega x i cap plus omega y j cap plus omega z k cap. So, this can be written as determinant of that is i j k u v w dou by dou x dou by dou y as well as dou by dou z. So this is an equation to determine whether the flow is a rotational flow or an irrotational flow. So now let us see this equation as in relation of velocity potential function. So <clears throat> for value of omega z we can write omega z as that is 1 upon 2 so we are calculating omega z so for omega z this two part should be covered so what you get over here is dou u by dou y minus dou v by dou x and this will be of course always multiplied by half so now this is half that is dou u by dou y minus dou v by dou x. So that is value of omega z. So now let us calculate this part rotational and irrotational flow in the form of a velocity potential function. Now velocity potential function in rectangular coordinate that is in rectangular coordinate your phi can be given as u is equals to minus dou phi by dou x and v is given by minus dou phi by dou y. So let us substitute this value in this equation omega z is equals to half into dou by dou y instead of u you have to substitute dou phi by dou x so this will be dou phi by dou x minus of dou by dou x instead of v we have to substitute that is minus of dou phi by dou y here also there will be a negative sign so now what do you get over here? This is in a bracket. So this is half into dou square phi that is negative into dou y dou x plus dou square phi upon dou x dou y. So this will be for and 
which flow that is any flow that might be a rotational flow or a rotational flow if this is an irrotational flow then this part will be zero for an rotational flow it will have some value of omega z now over here we can write for rotational and irrotational flow for rotational flow Now what is rotational flow that is flow of the fluid in which it is rotating about its own axis so that means your omega z won't be equals to zero if omega z is not equals to zero that means you can write this as do phi by do y do x is not equals to positive of do phi by do y do x do y and for irrotational flow irrotational flow what we get over here is omega z is equals to zero now if omega z is equals to zero then these two parts are equals to zero so this will give us do square phi by do y do x is equals to do square phi by do x do y i hope you have understood what is relation of streamline flow um, I hope you have understood what is relation of velocity potential function with cylindrical coordinates and its application in rotational flow and irrotational flow. So let us see now what is relation of streamline function in cylindrical coordinate. So, we define streamline function as phi. Now, we have already defined what is, uh, come on, again I am taking, we can define streamline function as psi. Now, we have already have defined streamline function in rectangular coordinates. Now, we are going to define in cylindrical coordinates. So, now, this psi, when you differentiate, with respect to r that is do psi by do r it gives us minus of u theta and if you differentiate this psi by do theta this will give you 1 upon r is equals to u r so now this is how we differentiate or what this is what is the relation of your streamline function with your u theta as well as u r. u theta is the tangential velocity or angular velo or velocity along theta direction. Rather, we will keep that as tangential velocity. And u r is actually what is your radial velocity. Now, let us see the same relation with respect to what is rotational flow and irrotational flow. So, now, for rectangular coordinates for rectangular coordinate system phi is defined as do phi do psi by do x is equals to that is v as well as do psi by do y is equals to minus u now to check whether a flow is a rotational flow or an irrotational flow we have to consider the value of omega z now since this entire thing is in two dimension this is also in two dimension so we will have only omega z not omega x and omega y so now what is omega z equals to that is half do v by do x minus do u by do y. Now let us 
substitute the value of v as well as u in this equation. So now let us substitute this part as omega z is equal to half dou by dou x of v. Now v is equal to dou psi by dou x minus of dou, dou by dou y of u that is given as minus dou psi by dou y. So this completes the bracket. Let us see what do we get over here. Now omega z will be equals to now omega z will be equals to half of dou square psi by dou x square because it is differentiated with x twice plus what we will get dou square psi by dou y square and this is what is the equation for equation to determine whether the flow will be rotational flow or irrotational flow. Now the condition for rotational or irrotational flow will be if omega z is equal to 0 then it will be called as irrotational flow. And if omega z is not equal to 0, then the flow will be called as rotational flow. So now, let us check this out. Okay, so if omega z is 0, then what do we get over here? Minus of dou square phi by dou x square is equal to dou square psi by dou y square. So this is a condition for a rotational flow with respect to a streamlined function. Similarly, if omega z is not equal to 0, that means minus of dou square psi by dou x square is shouldn't be equal to dou square psi by dou y square. Now this is the condition for this is a condition for rotational flow in with respect to a streamline function. So I hope you have understood the relation of streamline function and velocity potential function in cylindrical coordinates and it's also application in rotational flow and irrotational flow. Thank you.